It's currently like drizzling guys. Looks like today's gonna be a pretty nasty day in this area. We literally just washed the truck late last night. It's about 4.26 a.m. We're headed to Conroe, Texas, but first we gotta go pick up Aldo and Alan. All right, guys, we're on our way to pick up Alan and Aldo, and if you don't know why, you probably didn't read the title. We're heading to the Lone Star Showdown. It's one of the biggest truck shows, um, I think, in the entire state. It's supposed to be one of the biggest truck shows in Texas. I've never been to a truck show in my life, and we have our new Ram, and we're starting to modify it, so I want to go see what truck shows have to offer. Um, even though we're not really building our truck to be a show truck, we're going to build it as more of a usable truck. We're going to be doing quite a bit of off-roading with it. Um, I still respect all these builds, and uh, I've been watching a lot of custom offset videos recently, so uh, I kind of want to go see some of these masters masterpieces in person and then we gotta go pick up alan and aldo because they're tagging along we all like trucks cars we're just car automotive enthusiasts um so we're all hanging out if you don't know alan he's one of my best friends um he's been around since i lived in illinois he has a new 10 speed mustang aldo himself he has a nardo gray paxton supercharged mustang i'll insert a clip right here As one slow Mustang, huh guys? But yeah, it's about what 4.37 a.m. right now. We have about a four hour drive to Conroe, Texas. Um, we're gonna film our entire adventure today. It's probably gonna be one of our longer videos. So if you watch the entire thing, I appreciate you guys a lot. Also, if you guys are new here and you clicked on just to see Lone Star Showdown, and you're probably wondering why I mentioned that those two individuals have Mustangs. Um, I have a nine second uh, quarter mile Mustang myself with a big turbo on it. Um, so not only do I make truck content, I make well, car content, but I have a Mustang myself, so a lot of it's centered around Mustangs, and yeah, that's kind of why I mentioned they have Mustangs. I want to point it out there, so if you guys not only like trucks, but you like cars, go ahead and hit that subscription button. And there's two of three. Hey, you come here often? Uh, not really. Oh. Uh, can you take there. me up north? Yeah, I can. I got you. <laughs> come on, guy. Dad. You're late. All right, guys, we made a quick stop at the Holy Grail of Texas, good old Bucky's. This is actually where Alan was conceived. <laughs> right? No. Yes. Um, but we made a quick stop. Grab us some breakfast. I got some kolaches. Uh, these two losers got breakfast sandwiches. That's kind of weird, but croissant. If you don't get kolaches, you're not doing it right. Right, Gordo? Yeah. Biscuits. Biscuits? Are you from fucking Britain? Yeah. Biscuits for the win. And we also got a Red Bull. We got about an hour left until we get to Lone Star Showdown. I'm excited to see the trucks. Not that Nissan. Um, cooler trucks than that. Damn, all rude. Hey, sorry to the Nissan owner, but it's just, they just don't compare to where we're heading. Let's see, let's munch down and get on the road. First, I went with regionals, and he was there, and he made it for sure, but I don't know if we made it. Alright guys, we made it to the Lone Star Throwdown. We all got our wristbands. Crippled man, you got your crutches and four-wheel drive? We're good. Hey, we're gonna have a good day. Aldo, what about you? Crutches, four-wheel drive? Pretty you good. left them? Got my Crocs, four by four. It wasn't all these days. Any level F250 guys? That's fucking nasty. Zero is what this one's called. That thing's insane. Yo, when's the STX gonna look like that? Dude, next year. Oh, uh, next year? Yeah. Words legally binding in the state of Texas. I'm taking you to court. That's not gotcha. <laughs> Guys, the size of this truck is absolutely insane. Plan B fab wheels. King shocks, my bad. Did I walk in your way? 
This thing is huge. My camera won't even pick it all up. Guys, auto could literally sit in that wheel. And auto's not short by any means. The truck's just big. Also, this Jeep has a Hellcat badge, so it's safe to assume. Probably has a Hellcat motor. SMG, I don't know what SMG is, guys. I apologize, but they have those giant Rams as well. And they bought a boat too. Name a bigger flex. Besides those crutches, name a bigger flex. I don't know, man. These those are pretty gold, big. Gold plated? Tiny big. Oh, okay. This Denali right here is pretty simple and clean on some horses. It's like the, this is like a perfect setup for like a daily. And seems like he uses it. This thing right here is pretty nice, simple and clean. I think this is a Magoy suspension booth or they just have a bunch of trucks on display rocking Magoy suspension. I might be wrong, but that's why I say it. They got Magoy suspension things on display. So I assume that's what these have. I don't know, I'm not an expert, but pretty clean. This fifth gen is pretty clean as well. Simple. I didn't even see the finish on this black F-250. Very like nice, like bronze-ish. Almost like copper rose gold. Goes really well with the black. Badges to match. Pretty clean. That's rose gold. That's like more of a bronze, but King Shocks as well. Super clean setup. This thing's pretty clean as well. Another SMG truck. These trucks are insane as well. Tweety's tire, a clean Denali, everything all purple, powder coated on some uh, horses. Can't go wrong with that. But then this clean F250, everything done to it. Not something you see very often, not this body style, but they did it right. Guys, the TIS forged booth is insane. Um, clean Denali. Badass Fords everywhere you look. This black platinum right here on a Kelderman lift and green accents. I think it's sweet. It's almost the same green as my Mustang. Almost. Not quite, but almost. Go follow him on the gram. Tell us trucks in this video. This thing is nuts. Same, guys. Kelderman lift, I believe. It's on bags, so I assume it's Kelderman. This thing is nuts. Here's Tank Killer's truck. LT4. That thing is nuts. On some welds. Willwood brakes and the interior, pretty simple but super clean. I've seen this truck a lot all over YouTube in custom offsets videos a couple times. Archon. Guys, this Kodiak is insane. Clean F-250. Nice little G-body. Guys, we're just walking around. This this thing is never ending. Um, video's probably gonna be pretty long. Guys, I think you can pay to ride in a monster truck. I don't know if I feel safe riding in and that thing. He's not going too crazy. He's just enjoying his day, having fun. All right guys, we found a cus one of Custom Offset's trucks right here with a Bronco. And this Ram, I've seen this Ram online a couple times. Very clean setup. I was, I was considering doing something similar with my truck, but we're going a different route. 
uh, but very nice. He used to have a big Archon logo on the side, but I guess he got rid of that. And I think that's Custom Offsets, one of their employees' Broncos they towed down here. Very clean. Guys, look how big that truck is. That thing's giant. That thing's out of this world. We're in the American, there's a bunch of American, I think every truck in this little Coliseum has American Forces on. Um, the music hopefully doesn't get us copyrighted, but a lot of clean trucks. I just can't really show them all because he keeps playing all different kinds of music. This Ram is insane. Big shout out to Zephyr Polishes. Y'all make sure y'all head over there to that booth. Thing is nuts. This dude's grill says Gold Digger. I didn't know that was your truck. Gold Digger? Oh, alright. Couple of the trucks, I assume they're on display at the JTX Forge booth. Clean. I think that's the any level one we caught on film earlier. Another one on an any level kit. It's balling out here, making me feel poor. I guess they are JTX Forge wheels, not cheap by any means. When are you putting some on your F 150? Next year again? Yeah, probably a month and a half we'll have it lifted ready. A month go. and a half lift, JTX Forge. Yeah, these wheels are dope. Kind of like almost a beadlock look to them. Very different. Um, any level, super clean. Uh, can't go wrong. Headlights look dope too. I don't know what the orange sticker is for, but I'm not gonna ask questions. They have an orange sticker on that one as well. Auto does not have an orange sticker on him, but it is what it is. The truck is nuts. Clean V. Four star bead locks. Guys, we're at the weld booth. Those would look nasty on the Ram. We got other wheels on the way though, but that might be an upgrade in the future. Awesome, bro. Hey, well, they don't have them here. Does it make me want to spend money, guys? We can't, we can't though. Pro Charge Mustang. Specialty Forge booth, very clean. I think the fifth gen is my favorite though. Um, no bias at all, don't worry. King Rancho. Super clean up to 50. I think you need to get up to 50, brother. <laughs> clean Shelby. Alright, that wasn't necessary, but one of custom offsets trucks. Nice little race truck, rocking the Air Force inspired design, I assume. Very nice. Um, I'm not really a diesel guy, although I do own a diesel. I'm new to it, so I don't know what I'm really looking at. Besides, to see a precision turbo. And also see the Fusion bumper trucks. That bronze is giving me ideas for my truck. Very, very clean. Specialty Forge trucks are insane. I know I already mentioned Specialty Forge. Liberty Forged Wheels has some pr uh, pretty clean trucks on display. Sorry, I messed that up. I love a clean 5th gen. I I'm a little biased because I own a 5th gen now, but can't go wrong with that. Guys, if I got a Super Duty and a Dually, I would definitely do something like this. I think it's super clean. Can't go wrong. I need one of these in my life. Oh, the Cosmos Racing Wheels? Very clean. Just a row of clean trucks. This one's very nice, di very different color, but everything's color matte. Just a casual GTR at a truck show. I dig it. Hey, would you gap it with the 10 speed? Bro, is that even a question? I know, I know you would, because you're built different. All right, guys, I know I said the red one earlier, but the silver one with American Forces eh, edges it out a little bit. I think I'd prefer it in that red color, but those American Forces are better than those Liberty Forged wheels. And I'm sorry if you're from Liberty Forge and watching this. I truly apologize. Those are just clean. It. And maybe it's just the finish. All right, guys. This thing is insane. It's got a Cummins in it. And tank tracks. 
That is the biggest flex here. And there's nitrous in there, Gordon. Yeah, oh, Gordon. Gordon. <laughs> I don't know who that who is. Who the hell? Hey, is that the biggest flex or no? What? Gordon. Gordon. That's the new name. Guys, this fortune's pretty cool. Very cool, like wrap design. Made to look like rusty. Feel forged, I think. I don't know. Don't hold me to that. I'm no expert. Very clean. If you got a YouTube channel, make sure to go follow him. Give him a call. I don't know what for, but. Any level? Yep. See if he lowers it, see if he lowers it. Let me go. Have you seen the interiors on those? I mean, bro? it's no Lone Star uh, Ram 2500. Bro, the interior, it's like, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's gonna be like a like a white grayish with a navy blue undertone on the side. Amazing. But have you seen like nice my, interior. have you seen like my Lone Star's like cloth interior? I know it doesn't have the big screen, no heated seats. Um, it's almost the same. Yeah, honestly, you're right. Pretty no, much. Silverado, super clean. Clean single cab, F-150, 10 speed, color matched emblems. Ford Stars, same ones we have. Kind of that's six spoke. I think the ones we have only are five spoke. Tesla screen, engage. CTSV is super clean on some bead locks. Filmed it earlier, but awesome color too. I wonder if it's a, a wrap or a. Uh, if it is a wrap, it's done really well. So I think it might be a color or a paint. I'm stupid, but a paint. I don't know why I said color. All right, guys, we're in a little like um, awning thing, and they have a bunch of pretty clean lower trucks. Usually they look all to be like a little bit of classic. Um, this one's got the side exit exhaust. Pretty cool. Alan's going to do that on his 10 speed by probably tomorrow. All right, guys. Blower truck. Big blower. Look <laughs> at the paint. Alan said he's probably going to have this done to his 10 speed by tonight. There's the LSA truck, guys. This is clean. Everything all blacked out. Alan, what are you cruising that with me? I would gaze into your eyes while we hear the LSA blower scream. Hey, what did you say? I'll gaze into your eyes while we hear the LSA blower scream. Think so? Like this? No, watch out. Guys, we were walking by and the wheels caught my eyes with some wheel woods. And then I saw the Boss 302 intake from Boosted Coyote. 6R80. That's nuts. Wow. This truck's insane. This would be so fun to own. D1X blower on it. Old F100. The front end matches the wheels too. Just kind of overview all the trucks. Still haven't found the custom offset trucks, but hopefully we will. If not, that'll be a bummer. But we're having fun regardless. New 2021 F-150, this thing is clean. BDS suspension. KG1 forged wheels, it looks like. Custom headlights. This fifth gen is badass. This thing is big. Can't we get the whole thing in it? These trucks are super clean. I know. I know. <laughs> you want four? The Duramax is on. Nice meaty tires on there. Alan likes nice meaty tires. It's on bags down. Maybe not the rear. Eight 
Guys, that Yeti, that Yeti's the MVP of this show. Nice little McLaren as we're leaving the show. Uh, we're all pretty much majority car guys here, right? Yep. So uh, we had to show love. Um, we might get one when you get in yours. Uh, maybe, maybe a couple months. Three months. What about you? Next week. Next week. I'll get mine probably about like tomorrow. Fair. Trucks for sale. If anyone wants it, one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars. I am too poor to even look at this truck. But not too poor to look at this McLaren. Yeah, it is. McLaren right here, very clean. And an F12. Show, steal it. This thing is insane. F12 is definitely a dream car. That thing is nasty. And just a casual $125,000 truck behind it. And an F12, very nice. Set up. Imagine owning that, Alan. Towing that. We live in life. When you get, when are you gonna do that? About three weeks, you think? Four. Four weeks. Yeah. Give you a little bit more time. Z06 on some signature wheels. Super, super clean. This is the color I'd want if I got one too. Oh hell yeah. This blue. Grand Sport behind it. Nice car, but not as nice as this. Guys, this dude has. This guy has fuck you money. He can run anything over. All right, guys, we're heading back to the truck. Let's see what we find in the parking lots. Casual Rolls Royce just in the parking lot. A blue badging, blue brakes, very clean. Guys, this F-250 was here when we came in on a Kelderman lift. Um, everything's powder coated. His wheels too, American Forces, at Power Stroke, Champ. Why is this dude in spectator parking? This King Garancho is probably the nicest King Garancho here. Needs to be out there on show and showing it off.